What's up guys? Psyche here. So today we are back. Um, we did that video where uh, we made all those liquid cultures with the maple syrup, the honey, the light malt extract, and the chiral syrup. So now what we're going to do today is, and we've inoculated those as well. So. They've each received some mycelium, and it's been about a week. So things have had time to grow. And today what I wanna do is make sure they're all clean. And it's hard to tell, well, it's almost impossible to tell if you have like anything contaminated unless you test it on agar afterwards. So it's kind of a process, but uh, it would be a shame to use some of these cultures and then inoculate like all your jars and not knowing if it's contaminated and then you just wasted a bunch of grains, a bunch of jars, a bunch of time, which is most valuable. And uh, yeah, so just doing this step is gonna be awesome. We're gonna just drop some of that liquid culture on this agar that I made. And uh, we're gonna see the growth over the next week, which I'll make an update about. And we're gonna see which cultures are clean, which cultures are not, which ones have actually grown. And we can actually take a look at like the mycelium a little bit better and get a better idea of what like uh, the growth is gonna look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of tidy up over here and I'll catch you guys in uh, just a little bit, so. Hey, thank you for tuning in. So I'm just gonna tidy up my area a little bit. Um, and I also forgot that each of these agar plates need a uh, parafilm to allow for that like proper oxygen uh, transfer. So, and I couldn't find scissors, so <laughs> I went upstairs, grabbed myself some scissors, and then I proceeded to cut uh, the number of parafilm I needed for the plates. Okay, so just tidied up. I got my parafil, so I cut them in the little section so it's going to be easier to wrap my plates afterwards. Now, you can see they kind of like fuzzed up and it's fuzzy. And then we've got little like particles kind of floating around. So we're going to try to capture some of that and drop it on the agar. That's right there. So same concept. Um, if you want to be cleaner, you can always make those injection ports for the lids. I'm a little lazy at the moment and uh, this this is this baby is, is awesome. So I just don't bother with it too much. But uh, I don't know, if you, work, if you work cleanly, you should be fine as well. Even in, like, in a stale air box, you, sh you should be fine. This is... If you're doing like a lot of jars, it's just, it's kind of a hassle to have to like modify all those jars. So this ended up saving me a little bit of time and, and it was kind of worth it. So I'm going to stop talking um, and so I'm just going to swirl this, take a little bit of that culture in the syringe and uh, then we're going to drop down the agar. And then we will wrap it with parafilm. And of course, most important, well, one of the most important is labeling. So, make sure we do that. Let's do it. So, come on. And 
So there's a couple, couple pieces of mycelium in there. And we're gonna drop that on the plate. So again, because of that little board right here, I'll grab the jar I have. And I'll work on top of it. And uh, I don't like to make my agar colors sometimes. It's just fun. I don't know. check on it in, a, in about two days and then every like day for a week and we'll see how, how it goes. So I'm going to do everything with uh, all of these guys, catch them uh, fast forward. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in and thank you again if you made it this far into the video. I really appreciate the support and the comments. I decided to label also my syringes after I use them in that specific liquid culture because I had planned in mind that if those cultures are clean, I will reuse those uh, syringes so I can save on cost a little bit. But other than that, um, plans for the channel, I'm hopefully gonna be uploading maybe like one video per week. Uh, I apologize for the last two months, I've been quite busy with other things, but uh, I'm really looking forward to posting a little bit more and engaging with the community. I've worked a little bit on the Discord. Everything is a little bit slow, but uh, it's a process and hopefully we'll get there soon. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm just going to finish labeling everything, labeling plates, wrapping them up, and uh, I'm going to clean my bench. Next video is hopefully going to be like the... I did leave a message in the comments about how I was going to make like a whole process video of brains to just like a whole new revamp so i'm working on that right now again just want to say thank you for watching and psyche out <laughs>